Hello and welcome. So <clears throat> I'm just going to do something slightly different on the channel for this video. I'm going to do a, a close-up of a radio called the RP2M. It's a radio that I've got on loan from G8SAR. So Mark G8SAR has a number of radios in his collection and uh, every so often I get a chance to try them out and have a look at them. So in this video I want to plug in the RP2M receiver and do a direct recording of that, of the audio, so you can get to hear what the radio sounds like. So what we'll do first of all, we'll have a listen to the radio and then I'll give you some more details after that as well. Now this particular this particular model is in absolute mint condition. It's got a new battery in there, so the battery isn't its original battery. But the the um, mechanisms, the dials, the switches are all in fantastic uh, condition. So it's very rare that you see something um, of this nature. It's a shame that there isn't much in the way of information on the internet. If anybody out there knows more about the RP2M then please drop some notes in to the comments below. So the the RP2M was a radio, it's a NATO, it's part of a NATO campaign to provide the Yugoslav People's Army with radio equipment from the 1950s uh, onwards during the Cold War and uh, other radios that are in a similar, similar range were the GRC9, the Angry 9, the RP2M is a later later model, a later period of the radios. So the RP2M is a solid state radio compared to some of the early radios provided to the army. There's very little information on the internet about the RP2M so I've had to try and pull together what I can of um, speaking to people and reading up on the internet. But the RP2M is a solid state radio uh, ranging from 2 megahertz to 12 megahertz operates for CW and AM. It's a receive only. It's a self-contained unit, uh, battery powered. And uh, from, from what we can tell, having a, f having a discussion with one or two people, it was mainly a portable receiver. So rather than being part of a bigger unit. From what I understand, these, these radios were manufactured by a company called Electronica Industry industries who were a Yugoslav company that did a lot of commercial radio a lot of commercial equipment but I believe they also were, got involved in 
building, manufacturing a lot of the military uh, equipment as well. So um, picking up CW, it is a really clean sound, uh, really easy to tune in. At first I thought it was um, going to be quite tricky, but it's absolutely fine. Switching between the bands is a very mechanical affair. That was really interesting to, to note. We'll also hear what it sounds like when I use my uh, SDR transceiver to uh, transmit on AM through a dummy load, so we'll listen to that as well. Okay, this is Mike Zero. There is Zulu Tango. Doing a CQ test. That's Mike Zero, Sierra Zulu Tango, calling CQ, CQ, CQ. Mike Zero, Sierra Zulu Tango, calling CQ, stand by. So, what I'll do is I'll try and find as much information as I can. Put that into the, I'll put that into the description below. Uh, but if anybody out there has any more knowledge about the this particular receiver, then please um, put that into the into the comments. I I hope you I hope you've enjoyed this short video. If you want to see me to do a few more of these, just put a comment in, and I look forward to the next video. So bye bye for now.